Hello and welcome to Slacken's uh, video on the Lachesis bug. I've been experiencing this problem for about two years now, so um, hopefully that maybe this will do something to get it fixed or maybe we get it replaced. Uh, here we go. We're going to take a look at what kind of our operating system here it is. Um, as you can tell, running AMD Phenom 4 gigabyte 64 bit operating system on Windows 7. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop up the Lachesis um, pop up here, and as you can see, I'm running driver version firmware 1. or er, driver version 1.10 and firmware version 1.94. Um, these are the latest and up-to-date greatest. That's for Windows 7, and the firmware version I think was released February 6th. Um, right now, we're at Profile 2. This tends to happen all the time uh, when I put when I boot up from a from anything, uh, it tends to switch profiles on me. I usually only use profile one, um, but it tends to do everything that it wants to do. Um, what we got going on here is uh, we'll take the uh, switch over to profile one, hit apply. Um, see the button's still off here. What we're going to do is actually switch this button, go advanced functions, and set it to one, which is basically what my, uh, my melee button is. set it there and hit OK. Double check that she's all set there. Alright, so we are ready to basically rock and roll into Battlefield 2, but I'll see here if we can just get this to happen without even going into Battlefield 2. Here's my... Uh, Oh, and there she goes, straight off the bat without even having to go into any game or anything. This is just bringing up Notepad. She's just rolling away on the ones. Um, what I did was hold down the fire button, which would be the left click mouse button, um, and clicked the right upper uh, Lachesis side button uh, at the same time. And she'll just go and go and go until I press that side button again. This can get really frustrating when you're in games and definitely. Um, you can't have it happening while you're in competitive matches because it lags out the game and not to mention does all sorts of weird things if you have the one set, um, which I noticed in Battlefield Bad Company 2 that it won't even pick up any extra advanced functions from the um, from the Lachesis. So this is without even going into Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2. Um, basically I'll do it again and hit enter a couple times. I'm holding down the left mouse button right now and just going to tap that upper right uh, side key real quick. Open. As soon as I let go of the, the fire button there, she starts repeating. Um, it's kind of interesting, but uh, that's the way she works. So this is straight notepad without even going into the games and right off of a fresh reboot. Um, so hopefully everybody's seeing that and capturing it. Everybody says it's fixed in these new firmwares and new drivers, and I believe in RazorBlueprint.com and everything, but this is or .org. And, this is just uh, just not the way I wanted this mouse to work, to be honest with you. My frustrations and support have been quite uh, quite vocal. All right, so we're going to close this and uh, drop out of this. Uh. Anyway, see, so you know, if you do that here in the screen and you're clicking on something, you got all sorts of weird things that happen all over Windows. It starts beeping at you and all sorts of weird sounds, so... That's, um, yeah, as you can see it's coming up here. All right, we're going to stop recording here and show you kind of how this does this in-game as well. All right, welcome to Slacken's Part 2 of the Lachesis Bug. We're going to load up Battlefield Bad Company 2 here and show you some of the problems that we do have in-game. Um, a couple things to note right off the start here, settings on foot. What we actually have is uh, melee attack set to 1, if you remember what I just set my Lachesis into in the um, Lachesis pop-up. We set the uh, upper right side button to um, the 1. I'm supposed to mimic that command, so it should work. Uh, however, you know, here in the mouse, you've got mouse button 3. That is actually the upper left um, mouse button, um, or upper left side mouse button that I use for that. Uh, I use my reload for the bottom one. Um, these tend to work without any problem, to be honest with you. These are the ones that uh, are set to Windows button 4 and 5 when you pull up the uh, 
the keys. Maybe the simple solution is setting over those right right mouse buttons to Windows buttons 6 and 7 or something that the uh, most games will recognize as a different mouse button because it's just not coming up. But we'll go ahead and show you that here. We're going to bring up the server browser. Probably going to force me to log in here. OMG Slack in standings, which stands for basically Oregon Mature Gamers, which is kind of a group of uh, some friends that get together and uh, play, probably about five or six of us. So what we're going to do is find a server and jump in here so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, 30 out of 32, hopefully this will give me a little bit of time to play. Do a quick load. Um, yeah, this is quite a frustrating situation when you've got that upper right hand mouse button that repeats and the fact that it's not even recognized uh, in this game. Um, Battlefield 2 had actually recognized the mouse button, which could be good or bad because of it repeating all the time. In the, but it does lag you out no matter which way you go into it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, of course they're near the end here. going to get in real quick, uh, show you how this is me pressing the upper left mouse button there, and that one seems to work fine. Um, pressing the right mouse button, I just hit it about six or seven times here, and it's not doing anything. Probably hit it now about 20 times. All right. Um, and if I press the one on my keyboard, it works fine there. That's the one. That's the upper left mouse button, and the right mouse button, which doesn't work. Um, what we'll turn around and do here is... Uh, show you the repeating functions. If I bring up my chat squad, there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Um, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold down the fire button and press that button at the same time. And there she goes. Non-stop there. And she'll keep repeating. I'll hit backspace and it'll keep filling it up. She'll keep repeating until I actually hit that right mouse button again, and there I just hit it, and hopefully it should stop repeating. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, really difficult to notice while you're in-game and moving around here, because you won't even see it um, come through. And then it'll turn around, and next thing you know, it's repeating itself, like sending lag buttons in there. Oh, there, I just died. Um, so it kind of gets really frustrating. If it's just kind of repeating without you knowing. This map is probably going to be over quickly. It doesn't look like the other side's doing very well, so we've got to get done with this video. Uh, I, yep, see, just bring up the squad, and there she comes on. Yeah, the mouse button's repeating itself. I can't even type anything in there to my teammates or my squad with it like that, so i got to turn it up, hit that upper right-hand button to turn it off, and... Man, it's a bad, uh, bad side to come in on because I can't really show anything when I'm dying here. But you kind of get the idea there. If I, if I hold down that, um, if I hit that right upper right hand side of the Kesis button um, at the same time when I'm holding down the fire, which you know does happen a lot of times when you're in sh close combat range and you're trying to throw that melee or trying to do something, you expect that key to actually work um, like it's supposed to without having any problems. Um, yeah, there we go, we just lost. But uh, that'll give you a good little example of what's going on there.